if you want to retrieve a data from a specific situation or a specific condition in that condition where clause is used and in our today's video we will be discussing about how we can use where clause in mysql so let's get started guys Before we start the video, if you want to become a successful data analyst with WS Cube, then WS Cube Tech is bringing their premium data analytics mentorship program. Its cohort 2 is launching in September. So if you want to be a part of this journey with WS Cube, then click on apply now. Now let's get started guys. So here in our previous sessions, we have discussed how we can install MySQL, how we can use select query to retrieve data how we can retrieve all of the data, how we can retrieve data of particular columns. In our today's session, let's discuss if I want to retrieve the data of customers. Let's open or we do, we already have customers tab over here. Okay, so one more thing over here that uh, suppose if you have opened products data over here, it's not a restriction that you cannot open customers data over here, but I'll just use another tab for it. So if I go to customers here, okay, if I write select everything from customers and if I run this query to run the query the shortcut is control and enter and even on the top you have this run button okay the shortcut over here is control and enter okay so if I scroll towards the right if I want to retrieve the data only from specific country only from USA let's say I want to get uh, obtain the data of only our customers who are in USA in that case what we will do we'll simply write that where country is equals to USA and close it. Make sure when you're writing USA, put it inside double quotation. Whenever there is a textual value, whenever there is a value that contains date, double quotations will be used. In the cases of integers, you do not need double quotations. So if I run this query, you will now see that we have obtained the data, but only from the country USA. So this is how we can obtain the data. Even if you want to choose a city that I only want to obtain the data from New York City. I want the data from of all the customers whose city is NYC, that is New York City. So let's change the country to city. And here we have all the data of customers who live in New York City. Similarly, you can also define greater than or smaller than values as well. For example, if I run this code, the previous one, I will obtain all the data and the credit limits are also given over here. If I click on the credit limit, it will automatically get arranged in the ascending order. And if I click on it again, it will now get arranged in the descending order. Okay. So what if I want the details of all the customers whose credit limit is greater than 1 lakh? In that condition, I will write the query like this that select everything from customers where credit limit is greater than 1 lakh. Close the query, run it again and now you will receive only the name of customers whose credit limit is greater than 1 lakh. Okay, if you only want the name as well, so suppose the name is given over here in contact first name or customer name is the name of the franchisee they own or or a showroom they own. So here we have customer name as well. So if I write customer name, where N is capital, if I, if I run it again, and I have missed the name. If I run it again, I will only get the name of those people whose credit limit is greater than one lakh. Even if you want, I can put the name of the country as well that from which country they belong to. If you want the customer number, we can get the customer number as well. So there is no limitation on the arrangement as well. So if I open this data, we can see customer number, customer name, contact last name, customer number comes first and then the customer name, right? But when you're calling the data, when you're retrieving the data using select query, you do not need to put it, uh, put it in any order. You can just write simply whatever you want first and whatever you want first will come first. Okay. One good thing about MySQL is if you select this whole query and use control B, what it will do is it will beautify your code basically that it will put select customer name, country, customer number from customers where credit limit is greater than 1 lakh. So this looks like more structured. So whenever if you want to uh, make your code more structured, you can just select your whole code and press Ctrl and B together to beautify it. I hope you like this video. For more such tech related content, follow our channel WS Cube Tech. Thank you.